Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your number one source for income-oriented investing, how to generate passive income from a diversified portfolio of high-yield funds. And today we're going to talk about the energy sector or energy stocks. So in Canada, the energy sector is actually a very big part of the overall Canadian market of the Canadian economy. In fact, if you actually look at any Canadian index ETF, you'll see that energy is typically second biggest to financial. So it's a very important part of the Canadian economy, but it's a very volatile sector, right? It typically follows oil prices, so it could be very volatile. And today we're going to talk about a uh, energy covered call ETF from Horizons ETF, ENCC, because volatility, as we know, is actually good for covered call strategies. And it turns out that the this Horizons ETF has a very, very high yield of over 14% yield now. But not only that, it's also the most tax efficient uh, compared to its competitors or other energy covered call ETFs on the Canadian market. So what we'll do in this video is we'll check out ENCC in detail. We'll, check, we'll review this Horizons covered call ETF in detail. We'll compare it to its peers and I'll show you why it's the most tax efficient. And I'll also show you how it has the highest yield out of all of them. And just in case you're a growth investor, you're not an income investor, Horizons ETF also has a growth or a great total return ETF as well for the energy sector. So let's get started. All right, everyone, let's do a deep dive into ENCC from Horizons ETF. This is the Horizons Canadian Oil and Gas Equity Covered Call ETF. So obviously this is a covered call ETF, everyone, that takes advantage of the high volatility of the oil and gas sector or the energy sector, which translates, look at this, this is the first thing that you will notice into an enormous dividend yield of over 14% right now. This is actually as of April 28th. We'll check out the current yield uh, as I'm filming this today. I'm actually filming this video on May the 4th. It's actually higher than 14.32% now. So let's take a look at this uh, ETF in detail. So the first thing you'll notice, we'll check out the composition, right? Because that's the first thing we have to see what's actually inside this ETF. This ETF actually follows an index, the Selected Equal Weight Canada Oil and Gas Index. So it's trying to replicate this index, which means if you click on here, you'll actually get to the index. And if we scroll down, you will see the actual 10, 10 companies inside of the index. And as you will quickly notice, these are basically the 10 biggest, well, I don't know if they're the 10 biggest, don't quote me on that, but I would say 10 of the biggest uh, energy companies in Canada. These are all Canadian companies, so you'll recognize a lot of them. Obviously, you have Suncor and Canadian Natural Resources. Those are the two biggest oil and gas producers. I think Senevis here is number three. But another thing you'll notice is that there's also the pipeline companies. It's not just oil and gas producers. So of course you have the four biggest pipelines, the four that you always want to see, Enbridge, Pembina, TC Energy, and of course, Kiera. So it's a really, really nice mix of both oil and gas producers and pipelines as well, which by the way, we know that these types of companies have very, very high dividend yields to begin with. And I actually checked out the approximate average of these 10 companies. The dividend yield alone is over 4%. It's about 4, 4.5% yield, just the dividends itself. Of course, if you're adding covered calls on, on a sector that's very volatile, you're going to get a lot higher than that, as you see here. So when it comes to the covered call strategy, everyone... Um, I am in contact with Horizons ETFs. Obviously, they're sponsoring this video, so I have the good information or up-to-date information, and they advise me that uh, Horizons ETFs on all their covered call uh, ETFs, including ENCC, they employ an active or a dynamic covered call option writing program, and they confirm that right now, they are covering anywhere between 25 to 50% of the portfolio, and the options can be uh, out of the money or at the money, so it's very, very actively managed. Uh, and obviously, they're trying to, you know, get the most out of, you know, the balance out of growth and getting that premium income, but also getting the upside. So they will not write more than 50 percent of the portfolio. So by default, at least 50 percent or more will capture the full upside if the 10 stocks um, you know, go up in price. And just to make sure if you click on holdings, you will see the exact 10 stocks, everyone that we saw in the index. So these are really the big companies, the big cap, the big cap companies. There, there's no junior oil and gas producers here. So a lot less risk when it comes to the, the, the actual quality of companies. Yes, the, the sector is volatile, but these are really the big, big companies and important energy companies in Canada. So that obviously will lower your risk. 
When it comes to the management fee and management expense ratio, management fee is 0.65%, very, very competitive compared to its uh, you know, three competitors on the Canadian stock market, which we will check out in a second. MER is 0.84%. And the fund is actually pretty big. It's just under $100 million here. So it, it is very liquid. And one thing to note, very important thing, this fund's been around since April 2011. But as you could read here, this fund or ETF was rebranded from a previous fund called HEE. So this ETF actually used to be called, or the stock symbol was HEE, which was the Horizons Enhanced Income Energy ETF. And as of June 27th, or mid-2022 here, they changed it to ENCC, as we know, in case you guys didn't know, you know, Horizons rebranded all their covered call ETFs uh, in mid-2022. And it is, the, the sector or the companies inside are very different than what they used to be uh, prior when it used to be HEE. So HEE, if my memory serves me right, it was mostly oil and gas producers, including, you know, smaller oil and gas producers, whereas now it follows this index and it only has these 10 big giant companies. Uh, six of them are oil and gas producers. Four of them are big pipeline companies or midstream companies, which are actually a little bit more stable, a little bit less volatile than the oil and gas producers. So I think this was a great, great change. Um, and obviously, you know, again, this is a very um, volatile sector. So let's actually calculate the approximate dividend yield as of today, May 4th. The stock market is still open. But right now, uh, ENCC is at $10.38. So how do we figure out the current yield on 1038? Well, if we look at the distributions, you will see that uh, in 2023, all distributions have been 13 cents a month. And if we go back to 2022, they are varying. But as of December 2022, and this actually goes for many of the Horizons cover call ETFs, the, as of December of 2022, it seems like they're trying to stabilize and really gave a consistent distribution instead of varying distributions. But if we go back to when this ETF was changed or rebranded, you could see the monthly distributions are fairly high, 11 cents, 10 cents, 11, 15, 15, 14, and now they stabilized it at 13. But remember, this is a covered call ETF. So the distributions, although they look stable right now at 13 cents, you can expect that they can vary from time to time. So, But let's say they continue to pay out 13 cents a month, everyone. Let's do the yield calculation because I think you'll be amazed. So to figure out the annual yield, 13 cents is the monthly distribution. So we multiply that by 12 to get the annual, which is $1.56. And then all you have to do is divide it by the current stock price times 100. So the current yield based on the $10.38 price, if the distribution remains 13 cents a month going forward, is an incredible 15% yield right now. Just You could see that here, just past 15%. So very, very high yield, everyone. Good, big, safer companies in a very volatile sector. And uh, one interesting thing is, is compared to its uh, competitors these are all canadian companies so there's actually four energy covered call etfs on the canadian market there's this one there's nxf from ci there's one from bmo one from harvest but encc is the only one that only has canadian companies so let's check out what the other uh what the other ones have here so we'll compare it to nxf which i personally feel this is just my opinion is the main competitor uh, to ENCC. It's actually much uh, bigger in terms of assets. It's just under 300 million. Uh, management fees the same. The MER is a little bit lower uh, on, on NXF, but the main difference is number one, the yield is lower on NXF. It's about 12 and a half percent here. Another thing that's kind of uh, a little bit annoying about NXF and all the CI covered call ETFs is that they have quarterly payouts instead of monthly payouts and they're varying quarterly payouts. I know that's not really a big deal, but typically, personally, I like to get my dividends or distributions every single month. You see the quarterly distributions here. So pretty high in the last uh, year, I would say. So this yield of about 12 and a, you know, 12.67% yield, that is based on the average of the last for distributions or the last year's distributions as of May the 3rd. So still very, very high yield, but uh, that not as high as ENCC. And same type of thing, and we'll, we'll get back to this in a second here, but I just wanna show you the other competitors. You have BMO that actually just came out with a brand new energy cover call ETF, uh, ZWEN, 
and same management fee, MER is 0.73. The yield is under 9%, so you have a much lower yield than both ENCC and NXF. And if we go to the fund detail, so this is really what I want to uh, show you guys and, and really the main difference uh, between these ETFs and ENCC. So if you go on the portfolio, you'll see that only 14% of the portfolio is Canadian stocks or Canadian energy stocks. And there's only two of them, Canadian Natural and Suncor. The rest are really good companies. They're big companies like Shell, Chevron, uh, et cetera, ExxonMobil, et cetera, but they're outside of Canada. Same thing for BMO. You could see here only 20% of this covered call energy ETF has Canadian stocks in it. And if we look at the third, uh, the third one from Harvest, HPF, same type of deal. The, the yield is under 10%. And if we look at the portfolio, uh, you'll see from the geographic allocation, only 25% is Canadian. So that's really the main, I feel, advantage that ENCC has. It's the only one out of the four that's fully Canadian. What does that mean? more tax efficient distributions because you won't get any foreign income. Whereas with NXF and the other three, you'll definitely get some foreign income because there's companies outside of Canada. So if you have this in a non-registered account, the NCC is definitely gonna be the most tax efficient. And the proof is in the pudding. If we actually look at the uh, 2022 distribution summary and we, and we find uh, ENCC here, uh, let's look for it here. Oh, where is it? ENCC. Here it is. Sorry about that, guys. Should have been ready. So if you look at the breakdown of 2022, the total dividend or distribution was $1.43, a little over that. And you see that there's a nice chunk or 33, almost 33 cents out of that $1.43 is actually Canadian eligible dividends. This makes complete sense because obviously these are companies that have, they're Canadian companies, so the dividends are eligible dividends, which are very tax efficient. And the rest is capital gains. That's normal, of course, when any covered call ETF, you're going to expect most of the income to be capital gains and return of capital, because as we all know, covered call income is capital gains. It's not dividend. So with ENCC going forward, I would expect that there will never be any foreign income, but there will only be eligible dividends, capital gains, and sometimes return of capital. So this ETF will definitely be the most tax efficient uh, out of the four energy covered call ETFs. Uh, on the Canadian stock market, of course, if you're putting it in a non-registered account. So highest yield out of the four, the most tax efficient out of the four, I think ENCC is a great option. If you're an income investor, you want to invest in the energy sector. Remember, if you're getting a covered call energy ETF, you're lowering your volatility because you're getting that nice income. And as we saw, 15% yield as of May 4th, absolutely incredible. And just in case you're a growth investor, everyone, it turns out Horizons also has a growth or total return oriented uh, energy ETF. So I'm talking about HXE. So uh, in terms of holdings, now the only difference is that this one only does not have any pipelines. It only has oil and gas producers and it actually follows an index. So you'll see here Canadian Natural Suncor, uh, Synovus. Tourmaline are the big ones, Imperial. So it's, again, big companies as well make up the majority of the uh, the ETF, but it's index based. So you'll have a little bit of the smaller producers as well, like you see here, but the smaller they are, the smaller percentage they will make up. So if you're looking for more of a growth ETF, this ETF does not give dividends at all. It actually reinvests the dividends inside the fund, which enables it to have lower management fees. So this ETF, uh, tracks an index here uh, and we'll compare it to its main competitor that tracks the same index, the, 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 the TSX Cap Energy Index ETF. And we'll see that it has a big advantage because the management fee is a lot lower. So iShares has XEG, which is the exact same thing. It follows the exact same index. Actually, if you click on holdings and look at the stocks, you'll see the exact same breakdown of stocks. So basically all the oil and gas companies in Canada, everyone, and of course, the majority of the weight is going to be with the, the big ones. But the main difference is the fee. Look at the fee here. The MER is 0.6 on, the, on this one, on XEG. But the MER on this one is only 0.27. So it's a lot, lot less, which means if you actually look at the performance, this is very interesting. So let's look at the uh, year to date and stuff like that. We'll compare it to the, the, this one here. 
So let's see performance. Okay, so one year, 2.67. One year, 2.87. So the Horizons, one's, Horizons 1 is beating it. Uh, three year, 50.09. Three year, 50.56. So it always has, you know, let's check out six. Does, does this one have six months? No, it doesn't have. It has five years though. Um, 7.06, 7.27. So uh, if you're a growth investor, I would definitely go with HXE. Uh, it is performing better because of the lower fee than XEG. So if you're a growth, growth investor, Horizons has a great option for you. Uh, when it comes to the performance of ENCC, it's also very competitive. Let's compare it to NXF, its main competitor, real quick here. So performance, I do want to focus on the short-term performance. I don't want to go long-term because this fund, like I discussed, changed in mid-2022. So let's take, take a look at uh one month for example 4.25 when it comes to this one here nxf if we look at one month 4.7 so a little bit better uh three months minus 1.18 and if we look at three months minus 3.2 so for the three month one it's much much better uh six months minus 2.9 six months minus 3.13 a little bit better on nxf year to date 0.62 let's see year to date minus 0.7 so very very in line or very similar depending on the time frame you look at to its main competitor nxf even though it has a higher mer so encc everyone very very competitive the highest yield out of all four of them and the most tax efficient yield i think this is a great bet if you're looking for income if you're looking to add some energy in your portfolio with a bit less volatility and you also have hxe in case you want the full growth uh, option and another last thing i want to talk about is that horizons etf is actually having the biggest winner contest so between may 15 and june 23 you could sign up and basically you could pretend uh that you're a trader or an etf trader you get a hundred thousand dollars of fantasy money and you could trade and do whatever you want with with, the, with ETFs for uh, about about a month, a little over a month from May 15th to June 23. So it's really, really fun. So you guys could sign up, go on Horizon's website and register because there's actually, it's fake money, but you could win real prizes, which is very, very interesting and exciting. So you can, you know, the grand prize is 10,000, the runner up is 5,000. There's also weekly prizes of a thousand dollars so if you're interested you know it's completely free you could register and pretend you're a trader uh, i'm probably going to sign up and try it out uh, i know i probably won't do very well because i'm a terrible trader uh, when i tried it i wasn't that good at it but hey it'll at least prove to you that the buy and hold income strategy works really well that's what it will do for me so i'm going to try it out we'll see how it goes so in case you're interested so that's it everyone for the uh, energy covered call and growth etf from horizons etfs which i strongly consider if you're in the market for energy exposure hey don't go yet i have some important reminders including some more recent ones and i'll try to keep it as brief as possible and for everything that i'm about to discuss the links and in, in, in info are in the video description below so first of all if you didn't know yet i do offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching session where you'll have a one-hour zoom call with me where you could ask me all the questions you want and I'll help you and assist you best I can. Just remember that I'm not, not a licensed or registered financial advisor or planner. So to book a session, go on my website, passiveincomeinvesting.ca and right there on the homepage on the left-hand side, there is a small video. Watch that video to know how to book a one-on-one -on -one properly with yours truly. Also on my website, you could purchase my digital product, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package, which is on version four right now. It comes with lifetime updates, so you only have to buy once and this is really a reference tool or a companion tool to help you build your own portfolio according to your needs and your objectives it has a list of funds it has sample portfolios for both canadian investors and american investors so make sure to check it out uh, on my website i actually created a video which uh, shows the product from a to z because i don't want you to spend money unless you know exactly what you're getting so make sure to check that video out on my website and don't take my word for how good it is check out the reviews there's over 300 of them and 
and they are all 100% real reviews. So here's some more um, updated news or recent news. I am now on Blossom, a new investing app designed for investors. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I think it's really, really great. It has a really cool feature where users could actually add and share their portfolios and what they're buying and selling every day. So you could actually link your investing account so it's uh, updated automatically on a daily basis. I recently added my own main portfolio so you could follow how my portfolio is doing live and what I buy every month. Really, really cool. It's like a mix of Facebook and Twitter, but specifically for investing. So get on your phone, click on the link in the video description below and download the app. It's 100% free. So you two could share your portfolio. Just remember to look for me and follow me. My username is Adrian PII altogether. Also, I do have a referral link for Quest Trade. So you could get $50 uh, worth of free stock purchases. This is the Canadian discount broker that I use and I recommend. Unlike Wealthsimple, the other popular discount broker in Canada. You uh, you could drip everything you want. It has all the stocks and it also has dual currency accounts. Very, very uh, convenient if you're buying both Canadian stocks and American stocks. I have a Quest Trade video, by the way, which shows gives you a little tour uh, of the fe features, so make sure to check that out. I also have a referral link for Passive. This is the portfolio tracking tool that I use to consolidate all our accounts to get a nice bird's eye view, so we can cons for, you know, consolidate all the inf information together for easy tracking and stats as well. Also, our Facebook group, Passive Income Investing, is now an invite-only private group, so to join it, you need to click click on the on the link in the video description below and give the group a like to get invited. So we take pride in making this one of the best investing Facebook groups out there with over 13,000 members. There's no scams, there's no spammers and the negative and doomsday people we kick them out right away. Also, follow us on Instagram if you want a little bit more of our personal journey here in Panama. And lastly, just remember everyone, I am not a licensed or registered financial advisor. This channel is all about my personal investing journey and how I invest to generate high passive income from a diversified portfolio of high yield funds. It's for educational purposes only, so don't forget to do your own research and due diligence. And of course, stay safe everyone, stay healthy, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.